Hello guys, so in our last lesson we saw how we could set up our tiling and offset nodes. In this lesson, let's go ahead and set up our vertex and position displacements, basically our vertex displacement. So let's go ahead and get this off screen. So what we're going to do now is to create our normal vector. So let's just go ahead and say normal, normal vector. And we're going to leave our space to world space. The space is the space on the Unity's uh, axis that cor corresponds to the uh, center. The object space corresponds to the space of the object. So this time around, we're just going to leave it at world space. So uh, basically, a normal vector is a vector that is perpendicular to the uh, surface. Let me just go ahead and quickly show you that using a uh, basic sketch. So if I go ahead and set up my... Uh, Let's just use any uh, color. So let's say we have a geometric shape like this, which has points and vertices. And this is a vertex. Let's just quickly change that color for the vertex. So we have these vertices that constitute and create this mesh. Well, our normals are actually like 90 degrees from our axis. So they're always pointing away at the uh, perpendicular axis. So basically that's what a normal is. So you have a mesh and each of these faces of that mesh, these normals are going to be pointing out. So that's what the uh, normals uh, are. Our position node in Unity is going to, uh, in the shader graph, is going to give us access to the uh, vertex at an angular point. So we can access that uh, vertex data and we can animate the vertex data using the gradient noise we created right here. So basically that's what we're trying to do. We want to animate our vertices using the gradient noise that uses a time input, right? So uh, let's go ahead and continue our setup. So next let's create our position vector. So let's just say uh, position just like that. And let's create a multiply node to combine the normal vector and the position. So I'll just go ahead and create a uh, multiply node. So I'm going to take the output of our gradient noise and plug it into our multiply A input. And I'm going to take the output of our no out tree of our normal vector and plug that into the B multiply input. So we can actually see those uh, normals being uh, played around with here. And next thing, let's create an add node to combine the multiply and the position. So I'm just going to say add and create that add node. And let's go ahead and connect the add output of the multiply into the add A input. And let's take the uh, output of the position and plug that into the B input. For the position, since we're dealing with the objects, let's go ahead and switch the position to the uh, object, just like that. And next, what we're going to do is to plug the output of our add node into the input of our vertex position. So now that we've plugged it into our vertex position, let's go ahead and look at our main preview. So we can actually see the vertices of our 3D object being animated. Let's go ahead and continue building our graph in our next lesson. But first, let's go ahead and just set up and uh, group these uh, objects. So let's press Ctrl G after we select everything. And just right here for the new group name, let's just call this our vertex displacement animation. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and continue moving on and build our jelly, uh, our jelly shader.